Hi guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amon and today I'm doing a mock test for Ehsan. Now he's found me on YouTube and wanted to get an, a good idea on his drive before he books his practical test. Now you have done 10 hours of driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an experienced driver but he has had some lessons as well. So you know what you're, what you're yeah, doing, sorry. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> okay, so today's lesson, uh, sorry, today's mock test, I'm going to keep giving you directions whenever I need you to turn. If I don't say anything, keep going straight. If you're not sure where you're going, you can ask. Okay. It's going to be a mixture of roads, similar to what you've already been practicing on. And uh, we're going to carry out one manoeuvre and we may also carry out the emergency stop. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm just going to ask you a question before we get started. Sure. So if you can tell me, how would you check if there was an issue with your anti-lock braking system? Yeah, so I have to turn on my car. Okay. And uh, the, all the, turn on my ignition first, so all the lights, warning lights, they come on. And after I start the car, all the lights go off. Mm -hmm. So if the ABS, the lights stay on while I drive, then there's a fault in the braking system. I should get that checked immediately. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. That sounds good. So whenever you're ready, yeah. we'll start the engine. Sure. And we're going to get started from here. Yeah. All right, so whenever you're ready, yeah. let's start from here. And when we get to the end of this road, turn yeah. left. The junction ahead is an unmarked T-junction. Always approach with caution as there's no set priority. to this right turn, Essan slows down really well as the entrance of the road is really narrow and selects first gear for better control. Lots of parked vehicles on either side so it's safer to turn in first gear as you can't see into the new road. Turning in second would be too fast. And turn left. Essan approaches this junction really well but should have used slower clutch control to peep and creep to really slowly move forward until he could see more of the road as it's really easy to miss vulnerable road users.
approach to this roundabout to turn right, Ethan starts following the vehicle in front and nearly goes into the left only lane. He uses his mirrors and safely gets back into position, but this would have been an issue had somebody already positioned on the right before him. Sun approaches this zebra crossing really well, scanning both sides and looking past the pillar to the right as that can easily hide pedestrians. To go ahead on this roundabout, you need to go over the painted circle a little bit as there isn't enough space to go around it completely. Isan goes over the roundabout with all four tyres. This would go down as a fault for response to road markings. If you have to go over the roundabout, try and keep your left hand side tyres off the paint. looking like a nice day now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought it might be raining all day. Yeah. There's a vehicle in the middle of the junction waiting to make a right turn. Esan realises this and uses his mirrors towards the left to safely get round. This is really good awareness and planning as there is a cycle lane present. one left, they're very close together. Driving through town centres, always watch out for zebra crossings just before and after roundabouts. There's a zebra crossing here, but there's only space for one vehicle just ahead. Isan deals with this really well as he makes sure he's not on the crossing.
soon as the road ahead splits into two lanes, Isan should have gone straight into the right-hand lane as he knows he's turning right. Moving over later can be an issue as somebody behind may move in before you. is the third exit on approach to this roundabout. As it's positioned after 12 o'clock, you need to start off in the right-hand lane. This lane later splits into two. You can use either of these two lanes to take the A4 as it is a big exit. As we are waiting at the traffic lights, there was heavy traffic behind us and an ambulance was approaching. They couldn't get through, so the emergency vehicle opted to drive around on the wrong side of the road and enter the roundabout. As the traffic lights go green, Essan starts to move forward with the ambulance approaching. He should have waited for the ambulance as they have priority in emergency situations. Stop, stop, stop. The motorbike that was waiting ahead of us was the only one to move through as they had enough time to get through without slowing down the ambulance. Nobody else had moved. We should have carried on waiting until it's safe to proceed. To take the exit towards the A4, Essan's in the correct position to go round as it's a spiral roundabout. As he goes round, the lane moves outwards and he should have moved into the middle lane to take the exit. He ends up staying in the right hand lane for too long and goes into the wrong lane. From here, he should have carried on to the next exit instead of trying to change lanes. At the point that Essam was changing lanes, the lane on the left was able to take the exit but also go round, so that's why it was a serious fault as somebody behind was affected by what he did. Although Essam was checking his mirrors, the vehicle behind had to slow down and swerve because of us. To 
smaller signs to the A4, you have to stay on the far right lane as the two lanes on the left are only going to the M4. So this is currently the normal driving lane for the A4, not the overtaking lane. going ahead, the two lanes on the left hand side are going up onto the M4 ramp. The lane that we're in is going to split into two lanes, the first one being the normal driving lane and the second lane being the overtaking lane. Ehsan should have stayed in the first lane, unless overtaking or turning right. taking lane isn't a big issue at the moment but he should have used his mirrors and moved down into the far left lane. This wouldn't be counted as a minor fault if he was to move down in good time. To follow the road ahead all three lanes go straight. Essan's in the overtaking lane the issue with being in the overtaking lane to follow a roundabout is you're going to get stuck behind vehicles that are turning right. As we enter the roundabout, some of the vehicles in front are turning right. Esan realises this and he starts using his mirrors and signals left but slows down the vehicle in the middle lane. He shouldn't have done this, he should have stayed in his lane to follow the road ahead or stayed in the roundabout behind the traffic if it's not safe to go round. use of mirrors change direction doesn't mean that he's not checking his mirrors. He's checking his mirrors but he's not actually acting on what he can see. On both occasions there's been a vehicle close behind and he slowed them down so he shouldn't have moved over in front of them.
his traffic lights turn bright. On approach to this turn, Esan signals a little bit too early. He realises and switches the signal off. This wouldn't be counted as a fault. The right turn at this traffic light junction is an offside turn where you have to turn on the other side after the island. As the traffic ahead is waiting, Esan was able to turn straight away. Okay, now at the roundabout we're going to take the third exit right. So we're turning right towards Brentwood. Third exit? Yes. To take the right turn third exit, Esan should have been in the right hand lane as the middle lane is just for going straight. He's using his mirrors to change lanes but hesitates. Now this wouldn't be a serious fault if you end up in the middle lane as this lane only goes straight. From here he needs to just continue straight and no longer go right. At this point if you were to ask the examiner if you were still turning right they would simply say do what's safe which means follow wherever your lane now goes as it's no longer safe to turn right from here. As Esan goes forward from this position, he straight lines the roundabout. The vehicle on the right hand lane was slightly further back, so they didn't have to slow down or swerve, but this would still be counted as a serious fault, as he doesn't stay within the white lines. the normal driving lane for following the A4 straight ahead. The left lane is just for the M4 to go up onto the ramp. As we go forward, a new lane begins on the left, so the middle lane becomes the overtaking lane as well as the right. As there's a broken down vehicle in the left hand lane, Esan doesn't need to move over right away, but after this vehicle he should have moved back into the left. driving in the overtaking lane for too long. If anybody passes from his left and overtakes, this will go down as a serious fault. second exit at this roundabout you can be in the left or in the middle lane. The left lane is ideal as it's easier to take the exit from here. Second exit? On yeah side. it's just um just up that way. Which way? It's the second exit just yeah. after the uh, Citroen garage. So just over there. So it's towards Chiswick, yeah? Straight on. Straight on. So here, yeah? yeah? Sorry. As Esan goes into this roundabout, he doesn't follow his lane and straight lines the roundabout, disturbing the vehicle on the right where I had to grab the wheel. This would go down as a dangerous fault. If you can take the next road on your right, please, just where that bus is. On 
approach to this right turn, Essan should have gone forward, level with his point of turn and turned when the road ahead is safe. As he waits too early, the bus in the junction starts to move forward. Now he's holding up traffic behind him needlessly. On this occasion it's okay as the bus was blocking his view into the new road. just reverse back for two car lengths, keeping reasonably close to and parallel with the pavement as you carry out the exercise. reversing he keeps turning the wheel left and right. As he parked in a straight line already he simply needed to keep the wheel straight and go backwards. If you need to get closer gently tilt the wheel left and right if you need to close the gap. As he's reversing he keeps using the brake to control the speed rather than the clutch. This wouldn't be a serious fault but you should try and use slow clutch control to control the maneuver. Drive off on if you're ready. stop sure. okay so shortly we're going to drive for a little while yeah. when it's safe i'm going to be looking around yeah. i'm going to give you this signal yeah. stop yeah. as soon as i give you that signal i need you to stop the car as quickly and as safely as possible as if somebody had just run out into the road sure. okay yeah. all right whenever you're ready wait for my signal before you do sure. carry out, okay sure. so whenever you're ready drive off from here Thank you. 
try it off again. We're just going to try that one more time. The emergency stop could have been better as he needs to brake more to get a quicker stop. So turn right from here. Thank you, drive off whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm not going to be asking you to do that again, okay? Sure. And if you can just pull in and park on the left. Thank you, just, that'd be great there. Just get the car nice and straight there. That's brilliant, thank you. And secure the car. Brilliant, you can switch off the engine as well. I'm just open the, open the windows, we're going to be parked up for a little while, okay? Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of your test today, just give me a second. Okay, how do you think you did? I'm pretty sure I failed, because <laughs> I had three serious things. First was the, was giving way to the emergency vehicle, though I stopped, you didn't have to brake, I braked. Yeah. Second one was when I was turning left at the roundabout, so yeah. like I didn't crash, but I think I was pretty close to the vehicle. Yeah, so there's a few things going on. I'm going to go through them, uh, yeah. go through the main ones first. Okay, yeah. so unfortunately, no, it wouldn't be a pass on this occasion. Yeah. Sure. Okay, yeah. the first half was really good. All the small roads, really nice, no yeah. issues at yeah. all. Okay. okay, but then when we got onto the big roads, yeah. that's when the trouble started. Yeah. Okay, so um, a lot of the faults that I've got are lane discipline awareness and planning, normal driving, yeah. and yeah. use of mirrors change directions. Now on half, on most of the times that yeah. these faults happen with yeah. the mirrors, yeah. you are looking, yeah. but you're not seeing. So that's where the issue comes in. Because yeah. I know that one time when I tried to grab the wheel with the white car behind, you said, oh no, I've seen them. And yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah, I <laughs> saw, saw them, but uh, it's, it's the, they were actually, they were far, but I was not like, Remember that these side mirrors are convex, yeah, so yeah. they make things appear further, but they, yeah, they're yeah. actually closer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go through some of the faults. No, actually, to be honest, I saw the car. No, I, I, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. It's, it's the, I'm going to go into why that, yeah. why that was a bigger concern yeah. than you realise. Yeah. So firstly, the emergency vehicle, yeah. okay? They've gone round the roundabout on the yeah. wrong side, and they're on your right, and I'm looking at them, and you, you're going forward, and the lights have gone green, but... Yeah. Yeah, obviously... Then I have to stop, yeah, for them. Yeah, so that's a, a big so, issue I had to tell you to stop that point. Yeah, yeah. So you should have realized to just wait on your own there yeah, okay yeah. then as we went into the roundabout we were following signs to a4 you got yeah. into the correct position you yeah. went round which yeah. is great yeah. now right in front of you your lane divided into two it went a4 yeah. and then it went a406 a46 as you went round yeah. you know you're following a4 yeah. you've gone to the one that says 406 yeah so you went into the wrong lane yeah. And then as you're now in the wrong lane, yeah. I didn't say anything, the exit's coming up, you've seen that's the exit, you've checked your mirror signal, but the lady behind, yeah. she's now in position to take the exit and you're moving in front of her. So they exactly where I checked the mirrors and you had to, like, yeah. you didn't so have the white to, car. Like, you just had to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the lady hooted us, but she was okay with it, she yeah. dealt with it safely, but yeah. yeah, we're now in position to take the next exit. Yeah. The position she's in, she can take that exit, but she could also come round. Yeah. So that's why it's dangerous, because now you're switching at the point that she could have been going to the other one. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. So that's the first issue on the A4 there. Yeah. Then along the A4, yeah. you were driving in the lane that says A4. Yeah. As we went forward, yeah. it was initially it was the only normal driving lane. Yeah. Yeah. But then as we went forward it went into two. A4. Yeah. Yeah. You then went on to the far right. Yeah. Why did you move on the right? Because we were going straight. Yes, but what's wrong with the left one? There's nothing wrong to be honest, is it? Yes. Like, okay, so yeah. that is the lead up to the next mistake. Okay. So both lanes went straight. There was nothing wrong with you moving into the right, yeah. but the left was available. You should have carried on there. Now, as you went into that roundabout where yeah. we're, ju we're just going straight, you yeah. noticed the trouble. Everyone in your lane was turning right. Yeah. You now had to swerve around them. In so fact, I should have stayed to the left. You should have stayed to in that right. lane. Yeah. Yeah. So that lane did go straight, but if someone in your lane is turning, yeah. just stop in, in your path. Don't try and swerve, because yeah. now you're disturbing this guy in the yeah. process, and that's when he had to use the horn oh, again, yeah. right? 
So yeah, but that avoid that issue could have been avoided had you been in the middle lane or the left lane yeah, because yeah. that's the perfect lane for going straight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, then as we're going driving driving down that road, you just carried on in the overtaking lane for a while. I had to tell you to move back to the left. Yeah. So when there are two or three lanes and they're all going the same way, yeah. what lane should you be in? Middle one. What's wrong with the left one? Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Okay, so if but you that's think... basically for turning left. Okay, normal yeah. driving lane. Yeah. So when there are two or three lanes and they're all going the same way, yeah. the first is the normal driving, yeah. the middle and the right there are yeah. overtaking lanes. Yeah. 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 Yes? Yes. Yeah. So that's how we should treat them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay so then we had, um, then we went round some of those smaller roads again. The traffic lights turning right. You did really well with the crossroads because okay. we talked okay. a little bit about the yellow box junctions before, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you dealt with them nicely. Yeah. Then when we got back onto the A4, yeah. Yeah. you turned and you turned straight into the middle lane again. Yeah. What lane should you have turned into? Left. Left. Yeah. Okay. Now that was okay yeah. because. As we're going along on that road, I said to you, okay, at the roundabout, we're going to turn right. Yeah. Now, you hesitated with that right signal for ages, didn't you? Yeah, because I was confused. Okay, actually, yeah. well, if we're turning right, it yeah. would now be the right lane, not the middle lane. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Then I know we... I was confused that I had to ask you yeah. which way. No, yeah. now, okay, yeah. at that particular point, you're, yeah. in, you're in the roundabout. Sorry, yeah. just before the roundabout, there are three lanes and you're in the middle one. Yeah. At that point, had you asked me, am I going right? I would have just said, do what's safe, which means do yeah. whatever you're doing. Arrow street. Yes. Yeah, that's safe. That's yeah. exactly yeah. right. You did go straight, yeah. but there was a lane discipline fault, which is where I had to, again, nearly grab the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the issue is, your lane goes yeah. round yeah. and straight. Yeah. You've gone into the right, then back to the left. So you've drawn like a straight line between two points. Yeah. The two points curve. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? So that was the issue there. And then again on the A4, you were still in the overtaking lane yeah. until the very end where the roundabout turned up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Again, left lane was available. Left lane, yeah. Then when we went into the roundabout, we were taking second exit for Chiswick. Now, yeah. that's when you said to me, am I taking second exit and where is it? And I said, yep, second exit. Yeah. Now, at that point, I'm not going to tell you follow your lane, right? Yeah. You're in the first lane. As we went into the roundabout, yeah. what lane did you go into? The right lane. Yeah, you yeah. kind of went into the middle, right? Yeah. Where the yeah. white Prius was. And that's when, again, I've had to grab the wheel. So the last time. Yeah, the last time, yeah. 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 So a lot of your faults are lane discipline and not sticking to your lane. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, the emergency stop. Yeah. It I left the wheel. It wasn't mm. much of an emergency, was it? Yeah, I, sh I tried to, yeah. Yeah, okay, your mm. emergency stop was too weak. I had to ask you to do it again. Yeah. Now, even the second time, it didn't feel like, you know, okay. your wheel jolt forward. Yeah. What you're doing with the emergency stop is your clutch is going down too soon yeah. and the brake is not firm enough yeah. so we ended up stop like taking ages to stop yeah yeah, yeah. so you just need to brake firmer yeah. you need fine. to do that imagine if a child comes running out in front of you would you brake like that well, yeah. so that's so how fine. it's supposed yeah. to it be should be more a bit more strong a bit brake yeah. yeah. really push it in <laughs> okay yeah. um yeah but yeah that's, that's about it for now so we're okay. gonna go and work on some of these faults now sure so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and as you can see it's very easy even as an experienced driver to make some of these mistakes. Now most of uh, Essan's mistakes could have been avoided had you just stuck to that position. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But it's okay sometimes you know you need to see what you're doing and wrong. this is the reason I didn't book my desk. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay so how do you feel about your drive now now that we've it's gone over some of these things? Yeah it's much better. Um, I, I was confused at the roundabouts now it's much better than what it was. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, but yeah, the faults that happened at the ambulance one, yeah. I honestly didn't expect you to do that. You should have, he, you could hear him. Yeah, I could hear him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely should have waited for them. And after I lost hope that I failed, because it, that was a serious there. Yeah. yeah, now this is one thing that uh, happens to a lot of drivers where when you make one mistake, yeah. you're then thinking about it and then everything else. Yeah, that, that's what happened to me. Yeah, yeah definitely, because it was one after the other. We yeah, had that yeah. snowball effect, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. but um, I think most of your faults at the minute have just been that lane discipline thing. Because yeah. Yeah. being in that lane wasn't, wasn't the problem. It's what you're doing from there that you're now switching. Yeah, yeah. And I know you were checking, but yeah. it's the fact that you're not actually looking at what's there, because yeah. we don't want to slow others down. Exactly. Okay, and that's where the faults were coming in. Yeah. But it's okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna have to Definitely, that's, that's the reason I didn't book my test for. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, but no, it's been a good drive besides that. The first half was honestly so good. Yeah. It's just the bigger roads where you had trouble. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Especially the big roundabouts. Yeah, 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 definitely. You need to just 
work on big roundabouts a bit more spiral roundabouts and yeah. even the dual carriageways making sure that you're driving in that left first lane, lane. Yes. left lane yeah. unless of course that left lane is only going left and you know you want to go straight sure, then sure. you'd be in the second one yeah, yeah. yeah? but you're happy for that to go on youtube yeah sure no yeah. problem that's fine because yeah. then you can watch some of your own mistakes sure, back. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna have a thing uh, before after I book my test. I'm gonna have another mock test because to, just to get sure. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't want to go and fail there. And then no, definitely <laughs> yeah. not because that's the main one, isn't yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good.